So I've had these in for a few weeks now, and every time I look at them, I want to say, Great Scott! Even though it's not the right era, but this is my very first time owning a pair, and I am juiced. Juiced, is that what I say? <laughs> Where'd that come from? It is now. Juiced. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, I got my very first pair of this particular shoe. It's a shoe that I've always wanted, ever since I was a wee lad. Ever since I saw White Man Can't Jump. Funny enough, the closest I've ever gotten to this particular shoe was with the LeBron 17 in a colorway that was in tribute to these guys right here. But look at these, man. These is tanks. These guys right here, these bad boys are the Nike Air Command Force. So these things are a real interesting shoe. I wouldn't call it a relic or anything like that. This is the last retro of the shoe. It's from 2014. However, the shoe made its original retail debut between the 1990 and 1991 era. And I believe this was the second shoe of the pump series from Nike. So like there was the Nike Air Pressure, which was the original one. And yes, they ripped off the pump system, the air bladder system uh, inside of the ankle area of the sneakers and everything like that, the air pressure. And hey, those are gorgeous. Those you might want to say great Scott to because they look like a mag, but with a big ass pump system in the back. And then there was these, and then there was one other one, I believe, with the pump system from Nike. And I think that was the Air Force 180s. Maybe it was the Air Command Force 180s. I can't remember what their actual name was. They did do a retro. We bought a bunch of them and did reviews on them a long ass time ago, but they weren't like, like the originals. Like they were like a more mid cut, even though they were still high. These pump system shoes were extremely high cut. Like these are excessively high and I love it. Even though I love lows, I prefer lows, but as far as like really pulling from the era that they come from, like there is nothing more 90s than this right here. Now on the NBA floor, these were actually more notably worn by David Robinson, the Admiral. Nope, not the Admiral. That is a the word. The Admiral? He is the Admiral. So it was a title at a description. He was a very admirable admiral. He actually was. He was a great person. <laughs> so he was a military man. He had one of them funky stories coming to the league where like he played for his military basketball team. I think it was for the Navy. He didn't like do like the traditional like UC school to get picked up and drafted and stuff like that. He just happened to have been seen and somebody was like, who's that seven footer over there getting buckets? Boom, he becomes a spur, he's a Hall of Famer. But yeah, he wore all of these shoes, like all of the forces, the command force, the pumps and all that stuff. He was the main guy wearing them. He's the only one I think with long enough legs to make these not look funky. Cause I know that when I put these on, I don't look halfway as cool. I look halfway as tall, cause it is what it is. I don't think you wear the shoes, the shoes wear you. Pretty much. Now I actually found these second hand. I got them from a place that I'm not going to talk about. And yes, I'm keeping this one close to the chest because I share everything with you guys, man. And then y'all go and buy everything and all that stuff. And then I get nothing the next time. This is the one time where I'm just like, nope, somebody told me a gem of a place to get shoes and I'm just gonna keep it to myself. I'm sorry. I got these things for a steal at that spot. I got them for a hundred bucks. And if you know about these and you know trying to find them nowadays it's not easy like, they go for at least 250 and up and that's for if you can find a good used pair these things barely look one they're still all the stars they were a little bit dirty when they came in they had like some barbecue sauce or something like that but all you got to do is clean them up real quick and they look perfectly new. look at these man these are and in case you're wondering, this is what I use to clean them. This is not an actual plug, even though it's gonna feel like it. We do have, I believe, an affiliate link that I'll leave down below in the description box. But I don't clean my shoes regularly. Like some people have like a day of the week that they go and they clean all the shoes. I'm not that guy. Even if I wear them and I dirty them up, I don't clean them afterwards. However, when I buy used, I'm cleaning them. I don't know what been in there. Like, I, mm -mm, that's nasty. So I do clean them when they are used and they come in. I give them a good old scrub. This is the rejuvenator like liquid. I use the soft bristle brush. They got a softer one. Sorry, I meant the medium one, but they got a softer one. They got a firmer one. I probably should have used the firmer one for the outsoles, but I mean, again, they were barely used, so it's all good. They've got this guy that you can put your stuff in. Do not use this, okay, for every shoe like shoes like this don't put in the washing machine that's what this is for this is only for in my opinion mesh based shoes do not put shoes with air soles like this that are visible or with polyurethane midsoles inside of your washing machine polyurethane is an open cell foam you will them things up so fast don't do it so if you got a knitted shoe throw those in a bag in a wash cold water no hot water it'll loosen the glue air dry not in the actual dryer and you'll be fine but otherwise don't do that it's gonna your stuff up. 
And they also have these, uh, the shoe trees. These are probably my favorite things that actually come in here because I use these all the time, especially for shoes that come in, even though they're brand new, that are like, got that sock-like upper and they just won't hold their shape well for B-roll and they look ridiculous. I use the shoe trees to make them look like an actual shoe. So there you go. But yeah, I don't, I don't clean my shoes regularly. It's just every once in a while when I get a used pair, not a true plug. It's just that if I am cleaning it, this is what I use. Now, when they originally released between 1990 and 1991, I believe there was only three colorways. When they retroed in 2014, I believe they did a fourth colorway, which was a tribute to the Admirable. Damn it, why did I do it again? It's like you in documentary. You've got that one word that you say <laughs> real weird. <laughs> Apparently, Admiral is mine. But anyways, it was a tribute colorway to that Spurs era. They were black, they were pink, they were teal. They looked okay, but nothing beats the originals. These are one of the originals. There was an emerald original colorway, and then there was this other one that looked kind of like a lava colorway, uh, kind of like an Agassiz shoe. And they retroed them all. I don't remember them being really well received, but now this kind of stuff is back in style again. So maybe you might be looking for these on the aftermarket, who knows? And if you happen to be, they actually fit a half a size small. Make sure that you go up half a size. There is a lot of padding in this thing, and I am so glad that I bought a half a size up because if I hadn't, they'd be a shelf piece. These fit snug, trust me. Does the pump work? Yeah, it does. Reebok, what the f man? Like if Nike, like what the? The pump system's right here, by the way. There's a little hole. You just press this big old ankle pillow and then you can feel it all the way around your foot, just hugging it, caressing it. And then if it gets too tight, because sometimes that happens, the little button back there, the little plastic thing, you can't hear it it's like an air pump from Reebok, which is a bummer. But yeah, that's the pressure release valve in the back. And uh, these things are just, these are so pretty, man. The liner is corduroy. It's awesome. It's not legit corduroy, but it feels like corduroy. It looks like corduroy. I love it. And the tech specs include, again, a polyurethane midsole, a visible air sole unit in the heel. Also, there's an encapsulated one right up front. The exact same tech specs as the early model Air Jordan. So the three, the four, the five. <laughs> I the, almost got that. The, the six, okay? <laughs> it's the same exact air bladders that are inside here too, or the air units, mm -hmm. um, including the four foot one. So if you see those flex screws right there, that's what that shape of the air unit looks like. And also, you know, the pump system is in there and all that kind of good stuff. So the materials are nothing fancy. It's a lot of synthetics. There's a couple of actual leather pieces, but that's about it. The original were just like this. They were all like vinyl-y synthetic and all of that stuff. Like if you find a pair of originals, sometimes they'll be yellowed up here because it's not like a genuine leather. It's a lot of polyurethane and vinyl. Anyways, I think these are fantastic. Did you even say what you, do you like these or not? What are you gonna do when I wear these? <laughs> That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Thank you for that genuine reaction. I'm gonna come clunking out of the out of the room <laughs> and she's gonna do that laugh just like that. And You're then welcome. we'll be on our way and we'll have a great time. Mm, yeah. <laughs> we'll have the ultimate in ankle support. Yeah. Your ankles are gonna lose like five pounds in sweat. I might have ankles by the time I'm done wearing these. No more ankles. It'll just be ankles from then on out. But anyways, let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Is this an all time favorite for you? Especially you older guys like me, you look at these and you're just like, man, I remember like the Game Boys and NESs, the arcades, slapping quarters down on the, uh, you call next, that's how you called next. I didn't go to quarter places. In San Jose, we had a place called Nickel City. Yes, that so was, that was, was Nichols. that was there, <laughs> but we went to a place like Tilt and stuff like that. Relive the past, folks. It was awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, guys, have a good one. You're at eight. Okay, I'm trying to hurry up, okay? There was a lot of history with these. It's fine. I don't have to be in it. People will just cry that they never see me anymore. <laughs> Get your own girlfriend.